Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. We're in Bradenton, Florida on a hoard mission today. So someone was living with her that uh, she didn't realize was a drug abuser. And he had like an episode one night and beat the crap out of her. She just stopped caring, so she just started to barricade herself in. You reading the paper? March 26, 2016. A dead bird in there, and she said that uh, she thought that she was coming back frequently enough to feed the birds, but uh, apparently not. So the birds starved to death. Uh, today started out really shitty. 7 a.m., I get a call from Fiona and Thad that our uh, dump trailer's missing and the lock was cut on our uh, property. I went back and reviewed the cameras and bigger than shit, saw a guy in a black four-door pickup backing into our property and loading up our trailer. What's up, dude? How you doing? How you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm out here, you know, chilling. Such a beautiful morning. Yeah. Got to wake up this morning, see another day. Beautiful because of you. Oh, you know what? So kind. I had epiphany last night, man. Oh, sure. Sharing time. Had a coming to Jesus moment. Okay. I'm going to bury the hatchet with the Pokemon goers. Oh. It's a big moment. Yeah. Woke up sweating from it. There's so much stuff going on in the world, man craziness pandemics racism so i'm just like man it's not that serious you know, it's just not that serious you got to wake up you got to see another day you're blessed you're fortunate you're thankful whether you feel like you are or not you are so for all the pokemon goers i apologize it's getting out of control i might break down you know I'm... oh no it's all right buddy hey you did it's, good uh, it's tough but all for my, all my Pokemon goers, I, I accept you all. I don't even remember where this feud started, but I'm glad this is how it ended. This is a good resolution. I'm burning this out You're right. slowly, okay? Right. Yeah, I shouldn't, I shouldn't pick up those cover, I'm putting a cover over that yeah. right now. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm buried. So okay. for all you amazing, incredible, wow. intelligent, uh -huh. phenomenal mm. Pokemon goers, yep. I apologize. People's champion. With that, signing off. You're gonna get me walking? Yeah. Get this side. Okay. Like superheroes. Oh, never mind. Like there's literally a blanket of cobwebs that cover from her kitchen, dining room, to the living room. But she doesn't have cats or dogs. But well, what's the poop on the floor then? I don't know, so there's a bowl and it looks like it's dog food. But she said there's no dogs or cats. There's gotta be rats or mice. That paper's just stacked. So mm -hmm. someone was living with her that uh, she didn't realize was a drug abuser. And he had like an episode one night and beat the crap out of her. She just stopped caring, so she just started to barricade herself in. It was like a, her own personal sense of security. And a lot of time with these hordes, I really don't like to get into their personal because a lot of them are not mentally there already. Yeah. They start having these flashbacks, they start reliving. So if they want to openly be opinionated and want to just give that to us, you know, on their own, you know, I'll be there to listen. We don't want to dig. And, and, and no. empathize. I don't want to feel like I'm prying in. Yeah. I just want them to be comfortable. Just let them know that, you know, help is here. Uh, you don't have to worry anymore. I'm making the call for us to come out is like the biggest step. Oh, she made the call herself. Yeah. yeah. That is, that's different than most clients. It seems like usually a family member does it. So at least with her, she, she's ready. So well, that make all the difference. Admitting you have a problem is the first step of and solving the your biggest. problem. A lot of times uh, they're super like ashamed, you know, of their living conditions. Embarrassed So they always have a fear that like someone's going to judge them. Yeah. Which, I mean, society judges. Yeah. You know, society doesn't care to look at the deeper level and be like, no, there's actually an issue here. They look at it at face value and just start making judgments right. and assuming people's lifestyle when that's not how it is. Like I said, glad we could 
help and shed a little light on this for you so that way we can make it into a good living condition for you. It was a way of trying to commit suicide without actively committing suicide, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Just your way of handling it at the time. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter because you don't matter. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you know that you do matter. Well, that's why you're here. You know, and that's why we're here, <laughs> we're here to help mm -hmm. and, and be of protection. some type of assistance to you guys so that way, you know, it doesn't happen moving forward. I don't have to worry about letting anybody else in my house again or having that there you go. feeling. Yeah, <laughs> we'll put, you, put yeah. you at peace. Yeah. You know, put a calmness over it. Just a calmness blanket. Yeah. That's all we're going to do. Just shed some light on it for you. It's all going to be okay. Absolutely. We're in Bradenton, Florida uh, on a horde mission today. To me, this is category five. Easy. All it's, day. It's a level five. It's not livable. A lot of trash. Uh, a lot of cobwebs. Ooh. Like Don't a blanket mm -hmm. of cobwebs. You can't even really get through the door. So we've only been able just to see yeah. uh, the living room. We haven't been able to make it any further past that. So she said there's no dead cats or dogs, but there are at least two dead birds um, that are in the cages that she wants us to get out of the cage so the cages can be donated. I'm thinking there may be some mice in there because this is just like typical mice, typical rose, typical spider type you know living it's area. like a rat's heaven oh for sure what are the floors like it's can't see them for real no it's packed so high with i think what's paper but something saturated yeah but it's almost like soft like it's like heaps like little it's not a flat surface at all no you can you can't even see the floor there's so much you know debris and trash um she hasn't been in the home in like a year and a half so she's basically been paying for you know house that she hasn't been at just because she just doesn't feel comfortable being there and is very embarrassed to be in there. This is August 23rd, 2019. Looks pretty fermented. So the flooring is ceramic tile. Underneath so, the uh, yeah. this. That's what she said, which I'm happy about because carpet would stop. This is the one she wanted to keep. Oh, oh. Yeah, you're gonna get decapitated by that thing. Watch it. Oh, hey. I'm good. You're so close. <laughs> Ooh. Pretty. Okay. Golf bag? Yeah, massage table. Massage table? You know how the endings are that one. <laughs> really difficult to get rid of and separate trash and personal belongings because. You got people that just want to detach themselves from, you know, certain things as far as what they want to eat, what they want to save. But they haven't been here in a year and a half. This is the prime reason why you need the dump on site because if you don't get rid of it, get it out of sight, out of mind, you're gonna go through this. everything. You know, hand picking everything, 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 everything. I'm like a foot taller. Yeah. Cause you're six seven, I'm five seven, so that shows you right the just how high this is packed. The bedroom in the back isn't too bad. Well, you're not cleaning. To... <laughs> so, I like to see for myself. I got a whole cobweb just going through my eyes growing right now. <laughs> I got a full cobweb like, growing right through my eyes. You like zoom in on your eye and there's just like a spider crawling through there. Yeah. Ooh. You reading the paper? March 26, 2016. But she said this has been going on since 2012. What's up? How you feeling? Like my trailer was stolen? Oh, that's not good. Piles like this and the paper chewed up, that's what rats do to make their nests. Mm. So all this stuff has been this on, pooped on, to make a mess. Yeah. What'd you call me? What? 
<laughs> looks like plywood. Oh, that's why we yep. That noise is gonna make me ill. Oh, it's been driving me crazy with Joe. That's driving me nuts. Bring it on my inner gangster. <laughs> You're bringing out your inner railroad worker. My inner gangster. Look at that. Oh god. Think more of your inner like Amish farmer. Then that would be like. <laughs> Okay. Uh, but one of the latches is not, not closing on the door. Okay. On the 40. So can you take the 30 or? Yeah, that's fine. Bring the 30. All right, we'll bring you the 30. All right, bye-bye. Okay. This is why I bought my own dump trailer, because I hate dealing with dumpster companies, because they're completely unreliable. Completely unreliable. I'm the goddamn dumpster now. Yeah. It's saying. my dumpster, and I need it now. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. I think it's a toy. Hit, start hitting again. That, I want to make sure it's a toy. I heard that. Something with it. Well, who's laughing now? Oh my god! <laughs> Look at all these dogs here. It just makes you feel really bad for the dog. And the bird. This reminds me of the times when I used to work on the railroad. That never happened. Lord, it's been next to my railroad. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay, well, I'll hold it. I'll hold it. Yeah. 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 Almost on Social Security. I'm going in. You ready? I'm gonna, gonna get it. Yeah. Uh, we did it. Got it. No more beefing, baby. You have saved our sanity. Yeah. Poor fucking bird. Uh, today started out really shitty. So, 7 a.m., I get a call from Fiona and Thad that our uh, dump trailer's missing and the lock was cut on our uh, property. I went back and reviewed the cameras and bigger than shit, saw a guy in a black four-door pickup backing into our property and loading up our trailer, which happens to be the dump trailer that we were gonna use for this job here. So, you know, made a police report. They came over here, got started, and uh, I met them here, so. Once the dumpster gets here, it'll only take us like 15, 20 minutes to load it. Some of that, that's the stuff that I had packed away, mm -hmm. that should still be decent. Okay, I'll pull that out for you. Well, the important thing is you're, you're getting your life back now. I'm not sick anymore. That's right, it's gonna be a, a big weight off your shoulders. It already is. <laughs> Writing the check was one of the happiest things that I've been able to do. Good. Turntable, a tape player, holy cow. Vintage. Very vintage. Curtains I always meant to hang. <laughs> Cabinet organizers I always meant to use. See, this is new stuff. How are you guys feeling? I feel like I need an allergy pill. I feel like a bag of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the second time in a week you've said that. He's consistent. I mean, when you get slapped around with those things, you make, it's gonna be bad business. Nico is caressing it and you're complaining about it. Oh man, this is a different breed. I feel like I can't win. In the last less than six months, I've lost two trailers and one brand new pickup. That was a nice one. And wrecked a $60,000 brand new box truck, all due to employee negligence. Not That's us. why she's got the loyal best ones here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we get the shit done. 
Stupidity is extremely expensive. You know that? Very expensive. She ain't talking about us, <laughs> by the way. No. You guys are as cheap uh, as they come. Yeah, our, our market value is really increasing. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's it's go through the roof. You should get stock in on us. Yeah, get them other hot. It's going mean, up. You better. You better. <laughs> hot commodity. Sell now. I say this job is not for the week. Fuck, no, it ain't. Survival of the fittest. Because if you don't have common sense, just don't do it. Common sense ain't too common. If you can't drive, don't do it. If you have a hard time just waking up in the morning, yeah. <laughs> don't fucking come. Yeah. If and you just have do your job. A drug problem. Don't apply here. No. Or drinking problem. Or or if you're addicted to hand sanitizer. That too. Or if you're more worried about what you look like than what you can yeah. do on the job, don't apply here. Vanity has no spot here. If, if you, you don't know how to weight. bathe every day, do not work here. Yo, that is true. And if you don't play fucking Tetris, <laughs> do not <laughs> apply here. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> if you're good happen. at Tetris, you can stack everything into a dumpster perfectly right? you can stack yep. your life yep. how you want it, no matter saying. good yep. the bad whatever what you're doing interviews now give them a game just tetris give them play. tetris yeah play this. you have literally one this minute is the to best get job ever sport. you have yeah, a hard time spelling your own name yep we had one girl i think she lasted two or three days first day on the job she was more concerned about getting on fatty long legs than she was Man working i mean can Ooh. you blame her and then when he Ooh. shot her down Ooh. shot her down good he's saying are he you 10 shit where or he are eats. you 12. he doesn't shit where he eats um we had to let her go <laughs> we had one guy that collected his toenails in a jar for six years lived with his mother picked up dead animals on the street and stored him in his mother's freezer but like, how do you find that? He admitted it. But how do you find someone like that? He used to work in the funeral industry. How do you spot a blind man at a nude beach? It isn't hard. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. There he is. <laughs> I mean, if That's you it, did folks. do that, yeah. don't That's apply here. So I met this client a couple weeks ago. Um, she finally has reached out and uh, said she needed help. So this house is not very old. Um, I think she said it was maybe 10, 12 years old. You know, she had a tragic, really sad, hard thing happen to her. Um, and that's the way it manifested. It just goes, she went into a deep depression and she just gave up. And uh, we all have struggles, but sometimes it manifests in different ways. Um, and unfortunately it got bad in there. She had a, several dogs several birds um, and the house got so bad that she literally just walked away from it. She's been staying with someone else for about a year, year and a half and um, is finally ready to, to take her home back. Um, unfortunately, you know, we discovered a dead bird in there and she said that uh, she thought that she was coming back frequently enough to feed the birds, but uh, apparently not. So the bird starved to death, which, you know, breaks my heart that it was just sitting in there like that. But I think, you know, all the debris and the papers, uh, the rats got in and you know, urinated on it. So it's like really paper mache concrete, just piles and piles of it. So I got here kind of late in the day. You know, I feel like we definitely made a bigger dent. I've only been here for about an hour and a half now, and we've got almost all the living room uh, cleaned up. So we're going to be able to help her out. We're going to totally transform the house, deep clean and everything, but uh, it's definitely a big setback not having our dumpster here. It's uh, it's costing us some time, but uh, we were able to at least bag everything and get it ready for the delivery. You know, I think we'll be able to uh, get this job done in a week. See you tomorrow for day two. All right, hey guys, uh, we're back at our level five hoard in Bradenton on day two. Hey Mmm, tasty. 2018. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Hey, anybody want to That's crazy. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations. Mm -hmm.